in these problems we are working with the half angle identities and these identities can be used to express the sine cosine or tangent of half of some value in terms of the cosine of that value so this first one says find the exact value of the sine of 67.5 so this is our u over 2 what we want is to find the cosine of u. That's what we need to know to fill out this formula here. So we need to double this first to get u. So uh, 67.5 times 2 is going to be 135 degrees. Now this we can take the cosine of, and we'll have this necessary chunk in here. So 135 degrees is 3 pi over 4. The cosine is the x value. That's a negative square root of 2 over 2. So that's cosine of u. Let's go ahead and plug it into this formula. It, you'll notice these say plus or minus in front of them. And that's because you know some of these answers, depending on the quadrant they're in, are going to be positive and some are going to be negative. We can know whether this is going to be positive or negative from the beginning. This is the sine of 67.5. That is between 0 and 90 degrees. The sine is positive there. So our answer is going to be positive. So we'll start out knowing that and just write our big square right here without the positive negative in front of it. Let's fill out the rest of this. We've got 1 minus the cosine of u, so that's 1 minus a negative square root of 2 over 2, and all of that is over 2. Let's do some simplification here. So this is going to be 1 plus the square root of 2 over 2, and then I think I'm going to multiply inside the radical sign by 2 over 2 just to get rid of this fraction here. So this 2 multiplies by the 1. That gives me a 2, and it multiplies by square root of 2 over 2, which just gives me square root of 2. That's a little simpler. On the bottom, this 2 multiplies by that 2. That gives me a 4. And then I can take the square root of what's on the bottom here, and I'll get on the top the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2, and on the bottom just 2, because that's the square root of 4. And I think that's about as simple as we can make the exact value there. Let's try one more of these for practice. In this one, we're starting with the cosine of 15 degrees. So that 15 is our u over 2. We're going to use this formula here instead of the sine formula like we did last time. Uh, so we'll need the cosine of u. To get u, I just multiply that 15 by 2, so that's 30 degrees. And so 30 degrees is pi over 6, and the cosine there is the square root of 3 over 2. Now, we've got that positive negative and the big square root. We can know this is going to be positive. 15 degrees, again, is in quadrant 1, so this is going to be a positive value for cosine. So we know this is positive. We'll just leave it like that. And then we've got 1 plus the cosine of u. So 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2, all over 2. And just like last time, underneath the radical sign, I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. On the top, that's going to give me... 2 plus the square root of 3. On the bottom, that's going to give me 4. And then take, taking the square root of the bottom, I just get 2 plus the square root of 3 all over 2. So that is a little bit of work with the half angle identities.